In this video, we will look at how to analyze a PLS model, picking up from where we left off in the Making a PLS video. On the right side of the screen, we see that the different variables are divided on opposite sides of the x-axis. The variables in the right cluster are positively correlated with one another, and the variables in the left cluster are also respectively correlated with one another. However, the right and left clusters are negatively correlated with one another for factor 1. If we now compare the loadings with the scores plot, these samples here will have relatively higher values for these variables, and these samples will have relatively higher values for these variables. Now there is also a plot called predicted versus reference, since PLSR is used for predictive purposes. We only want to evaluate our validation results, so we can disable calibration by pressing the Cal button in the toolbar. We can disable the statistics test box also from a toolbar. Basically, this is a comparison between the reference values or the true values for this Y variable and the Y values that are predicted by the PLSR model. Here we can add a target line, which is what we would have if our model was perfect with the x-axis correspondingly perfect to the y-axis. We can also add a regression line by clicking on this button, which shows the actual fit of the results. We can compare that to the target line to get an idea of how well our model performs. Furthermore, we can add a statistics table so that we can get a numerical value or assessment on how well our model performs. For example, by looking at the correlation coefficient, for the reference y and the y predicted by our model. Finally, remember we have different response variables. Here we are only looking at p-flavor, but we can use these arrows to toggle up and down to look at the results for the different response variables that we have.